By now, 5.30, a Burbank bar and restaurant continues to defy public health orders by staying open even after the city padlocked their doors and cut off their electricity. NBC 4's Angie Crouch now has the latest on the ongoing drama over the Tin Horn Flats Saloon and Grill. We saw a steady stream of customers today at Tin Horn Flats Saloon and Grill on Magnolia Boulevard in Burbank. They entered a patio seating area through a side door after the owners cut off padlocks put on by the city. Even though other restaurants in L.A. County are now allowed to serve limited customers both indoors and outdoors, Tin Horn Flats was ordered to remain closed for violating public health orders by staying open since December. They've been cited 28 times. Going against the tyranny of Karen. Uh, communism that's occurring in uh, Burbank. Earlier this week, a judge ruled that the city of Burbank could padlock the doors and cut electricity, so the owners brought in generators to continue operating. Yesterday, the owner took the front door right off the hinges. Found out that uh, the judge signed off on uh, padlocking our doors, so we took matters into our own hands and. Uh, if you don't have doors, there's nothing to padlock. This afternoon, the front door was back on and the city padlocked it. The bar displays an American flag sign that reads, Peaceful Protest Site. The bar has a GoFundMe page that's raised more than $26,000 to cover legal fees. This customer thinks the city of Burbank went too far. And that's what this is about, right? They want to make sure that that place that disobeyed us needs to disappear so that everybody else learns that you don't mess with us. And, like, that's not the job of government. The city of Burbank issued a statement saying Tin Horn Flats created this situation by remaining open even during the surge. The vice mayor is quoted as saying, as a city, the last thing you want to do is shut down a business. At the same time, Tin Horn Flats has forced our hand and the city council cannot ignore someone that is egregiously breaking the rules. We were left with no choice but to move forward, revoking their ability to do business in Burbank. The owner of the bar says if they had stayed open, uh, or rather stayed closed during the surge, they think they would have gone out of business. Both sides will be back in court March 26th. We reached out to L.A. County Public Health Department to ask what other kind of enforcement measures they might take, but they said they can't comment because there is pending litigation. For now, the bar continues to stay open without a permit. Reporting live, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News. Angie, thank you.